<laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know, some days you just got to laugh. And today's one of those days. We're not live. Uh, <laughs> technical difficulties. <laughs> my computer, my laptop oh. went down. It would not connect to the internet. So it's in with a geek squad. And I tried using my husband's uh, laptop. You can see we're on, but <laughs> it wouldn't let me um, log in to Facebook for a Facebook Live. Oh, well. We'll record and then you'll get to see it. It just will not be live. So good morning, greetings. Hola, hola, aloha, hola. Let's combine. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is the Hourglass Transmissions with my amazing partner, Ale. And, and with Cheryl. <laughs> And yeah, off to a rocky start, whatever. It's not the end of the world, right? And beautiful uh, background today. Yeah, you know, I was playing this morning. Still can't figure out why I'm so white, but you know, whatever. You still get to see me. That's Well, nice. it's all of that light coming into you. That's Aww. what's the Aww. emanation of all of that light, that white light. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> All right, my friend, as always, I know you have a theme. What are we talking about today? Why do you value your favorite things? That's a really good question. You know, Anita, my feng shui partner, and I ask that question a lot. But I'm really, it's like, hmm, interesting, interesting. And... You've got and the card song. The deck. Oh, yeah, song. I forgot about the song. My favorite things. Oh, shocking. <laughs> Can you hear Julie Andrews singing that right Yes. Now? You have my favorite things. Ranger right. on roses and whiskers on kittens. Okay, so I have three cards came out. Pick a number between one and three. Um, One. That will be our card today. Okay. All right. So why do you value your favorite things? Hmm. And my favorite things is a song. So that's easy to remember. And that will definitely be an earworm. Thank you very much. Um, and are those favorite things something from childhood or have they evolved through your life that answer is going to be completely different for absolutely every single person yeah yeah so that be the why, same same item in the value same household your favorite things yeah. same item in a household of seven people and that answer can be different for every one of them so yeah cool interesting interesting question Really interesting question. All right, so what deck are you getting a card from today, my friend? I really like this deck. It is I, a very pretty deck. The Archangel I've Metatron. Moved on a little bit from Osha mm -hmm. onto the Metatron deck. And this is the card. Ooh, at first that I thought I that was a moon, but it's not a moon. It's so number uh, 34? Yeah. Okay. And see how um, its ancestors appreciate appreciation and healing. Oh, okay. And, you know, it's like that um, visual as far as them coming down from heaven mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the, the light... The light and, that's with them all, and at the same time, knowing that they all came before you. I wonder how many came. times you're in there. Right. Well, and the thing is, is that you have the opportunity to do some healing for them. Mm -hmm. Healing that they didn't get, um, wasn't available to them, or they didn't know how to go about doing it. Right. But... 
And part of that is just forgiveness. Huge part of that is forgiveness. Huge. Because they didn't know any better. Right. 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 Cool. 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 All righty, then. I think it's about time for some heart coherence. We could have used that about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. So focus on connecting your feet to the ground, to your floor, feeling those suction cups going down from your feet and connecting to the heart of Gaia. And take a deep breath in and hold for the count of three and exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Another inhale in and hold for the count of three and exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Visualize that horror tube going through you from your brightest star down to the core of the earth. And take a breath in through your heart and to that hara and going down that tube all the way down to the heart of Gaia. Feel yourself going down, 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 down through that shaft, down to the heart of Gaia. <clears throat> Feel yourself stepping out, out into the wonder of the heart of Gaia. The wonder, the energy, feel that energy of the heart of Gaia. Feel that complacency of that heart of Gaia. What magic. What gifts do you have to receive today in this openness? Feel yourself being connected to Gaia. Feel that energy of Gaia streaming through you, filling every part of your body, every cell, every organ, everything in your body, as well as your energy field. Consciously take steps connecting with Gaia and make your way over to the crystal beds. Feel the energy of the crystal, crystal beds. It is electrifying. Feel that energy surrounding you. Open your eyes and see the sparkle, the dancing of the energy. And feeling that energy consuming you, filling your body with that source energy from the crystal beds, from the tip of your toes, to the tip of your head, to the tip of your fingertips. Yes, you are actually being filled with this energy as well as your energy field. Give thanks and appreciation and gratitude for this gift. Stepping out of the crystal beds back over to where you arrived to the space at the Haratu. This time, I want you to get down on your knees, your hands and knees, and touch your forehead to the heart of Gaia and give thanks, appreciation, and gratitude for this opportunity and share your love with Gaia. Make yourself, bring yourself up so you're in a standing position. Come over to the hara tube and feel yourself being sucked up that hara tube, going up, 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 coming to a place 
where you can connect with your heart. Yes, download this energy from the crystal beds and the heart of Gaia into your heart and let it blend with the spark of God and the violet flame. Ah, time to send yourself up further up the tube all the way up to the central sun. Feel yourself moving upwards and onwards to the central sun and finding yourself popping out of the hara tube at the central sun and being able to sense the gift that you're receiving from the central sun, filling yourself with the source energy from the central sun. Filling yourself, filling every cell of your body with the energy of the central sun. Universal energy. Finding yourself coming back to the horror, horror tube. Give thanks, appreciation, and gratitude to the central sun for this gift, as well as the universe for the gifts of the energy. Sliding back down the heart to coming down, 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 all the way down to where you're in line with your heart and deposit these energies that you've collected from the central sun and the universe, universal source energy. Deposit these energies into your heart and let them combine and mix and blend. And find yourself expanding that energy of your heart to fill every cell of your body, every organ, every bodily system, expanding into your energy field, into your energy bodies, continuing to fill your room, your house, your office, your building, your city, your state, your province, your country, your continent, the Northern Hemisphere, the Southern Hemisphere, the quantum field, filling the quantum field with love, light, peace, harmony, compassion, forgiveness, gratitude, truth and trust, creativity, abundance and prosperity. Moving on to the emerald grid and mirroring back to the earth, magnifying all those energies, letting them flow and circulate the planet. Continuing on to the golden grid and expanding the energies of your heart to this grid and magnifying out into the universe out into the universe, those qualities, those higher vibrational qualities, allowing that energy to just flow, flow out and share with universe. How beautiful, namaste. How beautiful is right. Thank you, Kalei. Took a trip, never had to leave my chair. Well, let's see what source, what spirit had to say about the theme, the song, and the cards that we pulled. Your favorite things. As you evolve, those favorite things may shift, may shift into more of a heartfelt desire, a heartfelt desire to be more, to be more than you ever anticipated. Yes, these favorite things, as Cheryl mentioned, 
could be a sum. They do not have to be a material thing. It could be an emotion that comes through, a memory that comes through. It could be from childhood, or it could be an expansion of something that happened in your ancestral lineage that has carried through to this day. Imagine that. Imagine that somewhere in your lineage, you discovered something that has lasted through time, through time and space. Acknowledge this lineage. Acknowledge you would not be here if it weren't for somebody coming before you. That is how this civilization has come to be. But then again, we, we the great creator and his assistants have also offered you your own personal Akash records of your lifetimes. These have become intertwined, intertwined with your lintage. Oh, this is not to complicate things for you. This is just to address your history, your history. You have the opportunity to visit and be with your ancestors and to see your own Akash. To do this, you must silent yourself. You must prepare yourself and ask to have an experience. Ask for assistance in this experience. Leave your ego at the door for this to occur. So you may have the pure silence necessary for the experience. Your experience. You may see things in your Akash. You may see things in your lintage. You may see the truth of how others have lived their lives. You recognize they were doing the best they knew how. Allow yourself forgiveness. Allow yourself to assist 
them in their forgiveness. It all works to help clear the energy moving forward. Yes, you can assist in your life to help those that have come before you. This is your gift to them as well as to yourself. Consider doing this. Consider doing this in joyful ways. Sing the song, my favorite things, and bring joy, joy in the process. We offer you this opportunity. Go in love. Namaste. Namaste. Wow, that was a pretty powerful energy there, young lady. How are you feeling? That was different. It was different. It was different energy. Wow, cool. Well, this morning, I went back to one of my favorites. I grabbed the secret language of light. Mm. Denise Darby's deck, it's just so pretty. And the card, well, three cards came out. And you chose number two. So you chose, oops, upside down. Eight, meditation. <laughs> so that was mentioned in my um, channel as far as a way to silence yourself, meditation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting. Um I also was looking at, I keep glancing down here in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen is the date. So we're in the sixth month. 2023 is a seven year. Today is the 27th, which is a nine. So the only thing that was missing was the eight. So mm. six month, seventh year, eighth card, ninth day. Mm. I don't know what that means. But anyway, <laughs> poker hand. Okay. <laughs> Felt important enough to talk about. So. <laughs> All right. Let me step aside. <sighs> See where this goes. Hmm. It is interesting, dearest. Your reliance on things of the physical nature. Your theme today, why do you value your favorite things? Why do you value things? Why do you not value your connection to those that have come before you as the Kalei showed the image of? Why do you not value your connection to the divine or those of a higher frequency? Why do you put more emphasis on possessions? instead of looking at and valuing your emotions. There are many that say emotions. The word emotion is energy in motion. 
but you distract yourself. You distract yourself with stuff, with things. Yes, some of them give you comfort. And at the same time, bring you stress. Is it a balance? Only you can answer this. Why do you value things, favorite or not? This is a question to ponder for all humans. Do those things make your life better? Do they give you greater connection? When you look at the frequency of the monks and many of their brains have been studied, the frequency levels, the vibrational levels, when they are in specific brain waves as you want to term things, which we understand, knowledge is good. They live simply. They trust. They trust in their connection to the unseen. Dearests. Through meditation. You can have a favorite song, a favorite sound, a favorite feeling. When you reach that state of connection, your entire body shifts its frequency. And you will notice that the things mean less. The series six, seven, eight, nine, that this vessel, this channel, this divine link, this conduit, was speaking of earlier, is to grab your attention. It is a series. What series in your life is playing out right now? You have the opportunity that is before you to tap into a channel of energy that is growing stronger and stronger. And that channel, that energy flow, when you are connected to it, brings you the ease and the joy that you look to your things to provide you. Are you open? Are you truly open to receive the love that is ultimately yours with no cost attached? Stay.
stand in your power. Look at the things that you call favorite and question it. This topic may seem irrelevant. It is anything but irrelevant. Quiet yourself, dearest. Quiet yourself. And listen. Mm. Oh, so that yeah. was a that was a different energy for you too. Oh yeah, that was wild. That was more than one. Mm. It was interesting because you had pauses and mm -hmm. I anticipated you were going to come with a different um, tonation voice, but it all seemed to flow oh, just it, in the same cadence. I could feel the changes oh. in those pauses. Wow. Ooh, my eyes are watering. Well, I did say keep them moist, so. Cool. Yeah, you closed, you closed your eyes during those pauses. Uh, pauses. Mm -hmm. That was some superpower. <laughs> Interesting. Whew. Alrighty then. I'm going to take a while to come back. <laughs> I'm not so sure I want to. <laughs> Ah, well, thank you for having patience today and waiting for this to be uploaded as a video instead of live. Yeah. Ah, we appreciate you so much. Let us know what you think. Um, yeah, live is great when it works and when it doesn't, there's an alternative. That's true, but, you know, we still receive the gift, the gift of the message, the gift of our time. Mm -hmm. for you so yeah absolutely check us out on youtube the hourglass transmissions i'm going to point my finger here and it's probably going to be on the wrong side so if i know it's good <laughs> good job All right. have a fabulous week final words my friend uh just be in love mm -hmm. and we'll Find joy in a song. We hope that you find joy in the song, your favorite thing. It's just hear the Julie Andrew. Beautiful. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.